The, the elephant in the room, honestly, about WeWork is why is it an internet company? This drives me nuts, right? Because there are dozens and dozens of these co-working spaces companies. It's essentially a timeshare company, which your mother has been telling you for decades to stay away from, right? Yeah. So why in the world would, do we consider this? An internet company with a $47 billion valuation. So we can get a $47 billion valuation. Well, right, but <laughs> a even... A real estate company would not get that valuation. Exactly, exactly. But you compare it to other co-working spaces. Mm -hmm. I mean, even at a 15 or a $10 billion valuation, compare that to, like, um, the female equivalent, speaking of mansplaining, the female equivalent, the wing, right, which is probably valued at way under $1 billion. I mean, it, does, it just doesn't make sense that, that, I mean, it's been smoke and mirrors. To also, call the this. other thing is, is it something that all of a sudden the investors figured out that Adam Newman has maybe some issues in terms of how he runs the company? Or well, is it bringing, bringing, bringing that to light in face of going public all of a sudden it's like, uh-oh, now the world knows. But isn't the issue that everybody basically looked the other way? Yes. All this, of this is what I'm saying. Absolutely. This is, which is not a revelation to them. When the valuation was going up, but the second right. the valuation is going down, it's like, they oh, say, wait a minute. Oh, my God, there's, there's a, a liability throw, with it. Throw right. in there the share class structure. I mean, everything's, yeah. everything's always okay until it's not okay, and then there's no recourse. And also, if they're serious about this, the thing is, even if they pull them out as chief executive, he still controls the company. They're not taking his votes away. So I don't know how, in effect, he still controls the business. If you're concerned about his, his antics and how he thinks about these things, I mean, that's the thing to really go after. That's what happened with Travis Kalanick at, at Uber, right? That They decided, the, some faction of the board decided, he really can't be in control of this. We need to figure this out. I don't, know, I don't necessarily see these moves happening on this side of it. I right. know you're also close to some of the reporting, but... So the sources have told me it's not as if these investors didn't know about his antics before. But if, so. you, if you step back, really, actually what I think this is is such an indictment of the bro culture of VCs and of the tech industry. You think about it, you've got this, you know, you've got a guy in, in, in Newman. The what culture? The bro, bro culture. Bro culture. culture. Very yeah. much. See, you've now got you're doing like, it again with the, uh, so I, gotta, I need explanations of all these, uh, of all these terms. Silicon so so Valley is dominated by the so-called bro culture, right? Which well, is these very macho guys. So you've got a six foot five guy in Adam Newman who goes in, who's a great storyteller. He goes in and he tells his story to the VCs who are virtually all men, 98% of VC funds go to companies that are run by men. Only 2% go to companies run by women, even though those companies run by women have a better chance of success. And then he goes, he kind of snows them. He, he comes out with a board that's all men. So he's surrounded by this sort of enabling culture. And you got to believe, I mean, this should actually be like a Harvard Business School case study. In fact, every business school case study of what happens. This is like the best case I've ever seen for why you need diversity in your so decision makers. I remember Elon Musk smoking a joint. Is he totally different than Elon Musk? There's no similarities here in terms of I'll tell you the difference. antics. I'll tell stuff. you the difference. Elon Musk is buying planes with his own money. Now you could say that his own money was his loans against his margin on this and that, but this guy's buying planes with company money. This guy's buying buildings Taking out loans and, then, against his and then leasing right. them back and forth. Now, by the way, there was views that Elon Musk was taking, you know, uh, Solar City at one point and mixing it up with Tesla, which he did. So it's but crazy drug use uh, reportedly about certain. Well, we actually saw some of it, but then other. But stuff there's and, also a bigger constituency of investors, right, on Tesla, right, right? and that's sort of the key Anthony, thing I'm, here. I'm buying 420. I'm driving 420, <laughs> whatever. Uh, well, and so buyer beware in that point, right? But in terms of we were going IPO again, it was sort of all of a sudden the scrutiny of the public markets or potentially the public markets sort of. You know, brought this stuff to light, and I think the the VC community around it—they were, you know—you have to wonder really, are, how much were you aware or not aware? Uh, Those are I the mean, questions when, I have. When Elon Musk did all that, the company had been public for probably ten years right. already, and he had been right. CEO so the whole time. All right. And meanwhile, Disney CEO, you want? I more? just have one question for you guys. Yes. Do you think that this is going to make it significantly harder for Masa's son, who has always been an entrepreneur first kind of guy? to go and buy businesses in the future? Meaning, do you believe that a founder of a company is going to say, Masa, I saw what you did. I saw the beheading of Adam Newman. And I... I he, it's a, it's yeah. almost there, right. Well, yeah, I but think... By it, the way, Benchmark... Did the same thing with Uber. Took, took Uber. Travis Kalanick right. out. By the way, I think later then took another company CEO out as well. So, you know, how does that manifest if, itself? If you're a bad guy... <laughs> 
Well, it's it's going so yeah, so it could hurt. I, no, I agree with your point. It could actually hurt him going forward. I think it depends on what happens right now. Right. So with Benchmark, they redeemed themselves because they, you know, they they pushed out. They were successful right. in pushing out Travis um, before Uber right. was uh, went public. So okay. right. So if you have the sort of but SoftBank's also, I mean, uh, WeWork, they took they took SoftBank's money over ten million dollars. Right? right. So if they can't have some kind of say over how this is going to go forward, you know, it's that's that's what you're weighing it against.